what's a favorite passage of yours, and do you mind reading just a little bit from your book? I'd love to. I'll read a passage from a chapter called Homage to Mr. Berriman. For a brief period, when he was in New York on academic vacation, the poet John Berriman was of the opinion that I would make him a good wife. He proposed this to me regularly. It seems he was, in the years between his second and third marriages, proposing to every halfway decent-looking woman he met. It was perhaps his way of acknowledging guilt at the failure of his previous marriages and an indication of his good intention to do better next time. Late in the 60s, at a women's group, he came up when the issue of male commitment arose as an example of overcorrection. Among the seven women in the room, it turned out that he had proposed to three of us, and that was only in New York, in his spare time. The campuses where he taught in those bachelor years, 1957, excuse me, 1959 to 1961, were littered with other potential Mrs. Berrimans. So perhaps it was not the mark of dis distinction, it seemed, in, in the moment.